Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at recoloring just a portion of a pattern in Illustrator. Now before we start the video, I want to show you where you can find additional Illustrator training. I have a series of courses at Udemy. I've got six there right now. In the description below are coupon links for all of those courses. And my coupon prices are always at least as good as anything that Udemy can offer and often they're even better. I also have classes at Skillshare, again another coupon in the description below, which is again an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and often better. So if you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. So let's swing across to Illustrator where I've already opened a document and I've applied a pattern to it. Now this is just a pattern that ships with Illustrator, but I'm using it for example purposes. Now if we have a look at this pattern, you'll see that there are leaves that are pointing down and there is another leaf here that's pointing up. So if we go, for example, to the Recolor Artwork tool and we want to change the color of the leaves that are pointing down, but not the leaves that are pointing up, you'll see that we won't be able to do that because, for example, this is this orange color and if I adjust it, it's going to adjust for all of the leaves and not just for the ones that I want to select. So that is not going to be a process that we can use if we want to isolate the upward pointing leaves from the downward pointing leaves. So I'll click cancel. So this now begs the question as to if we wanted to recolor those leaves, how are we going to do it? Well, in the swatches panel here is the swatch for that pattern. I'll drag it out of the swatches panel and let's zoom into it so we can see what we are seeing here. These are the upside down leaves. So this leaf is controlling the upside down ones. This leaf is going to be controlling the right way up leaves. So let's open the last palette, which at the moment I can't see. So I'm just pressing F7 to open it. I'm going to open up this group where I can get access to all the individual parts of this pattern. So I'm going to target this upward pointing leaf and with it selected, I can now change its color. So I could make it more of an orange, sort of a darker orange than it currently is. This leaf has now changed, this one has not changed. I could also go in and select this one. Now because they're in a group, you can also use the group selection tool. Just make sure you don't have anything selected. Then come in here and click on the object with the group selection tool, swing across to the selection tool and you'll have that particular object selected. So in this case, I'm going to make it a different green. Well, let's go for a sort of darker green. So once I've recolored the elements in my pattern that I want to have recolored, I'll grab my entire pattern piece that I dragged out of the swatches panel and let's drag and drop it back into the swatches panel. I'm just going to size my document up. Let's go and select this rectangle and this time let's fill it with our new pattern. So any objects in the pattern that share a color with other objects, you won't be able to recolor using the recolor artwork tool. Instead, you'll have to drag the pattern out of the swatches panel, make your adjustments and then add it back into the swatches panel so that you can use it in future. So now we've got two pattern swatches and one of them is recolored to our new specifications. So thank you so much to the subscriber Jade who asked that question and there is your answer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.